हरि ओम चिल्ड्रन इन अवर लास्ट क्लास वी हैड यू डिस्कशन अबाउट एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शंस एंड लॉगरिथमिक फंक्शंस वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल एंड लॉगरिथमिक फंक्शंस एंड ग्राफ्स ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन एंड लॉगरिथमिक फंक्शंस एंड सम प्रॉपर्टीज वी हैव सीन एंड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन डेरिवेटिव ऑफ लॉगरिथमिक फंक्शन आल्सो वी हैव सीन now based on those concepts let us have some problems now first today we are going to discuss about example number 29 in example number 29 we have four questions and they ask us to differentiate they ask us to find derivative of the given functions example number 29 the question is given to differentiate the following with respect to x w or t means with respect to x means the given function we need to differentiate with the variable x now let us see the first problem is given to e power minus x what is given here for us e power minus x this we are going to differentiate solution Let y is equal to e power minus x. Now we need to differentiate. That implies dy by dx is equal to d by dx of e power minus x. So d by dx means differentiating with respect to the variable x. Both side we are differentiating. When we differentiate y. We have dy by dx, and now we are differentiating e power minus x. As we know that, as we know that, d by dx of e power x is nothing but what e power x only. So, exponential function differentiation is nothing but itself e power x only. So here also, d by dx of e power minus x. What we have e power minus x. But here, what is the variable we have? X. But here, what is the variable we have? Minus x. So minus x also we should differentiate once again. So that implies d by dx of minus x. So function in another function. Function in another function, like composite functions. We have seen many problems with composite functions. While solving exam exercise number two, exercise number three problems, we have a concepts of composite function or a function within a function. So e power minus x, it is just like in the form of exponential function. E power x derivative is e power x, but in place of x, what we have minus x. So that again we are going to differentiate minus x. It is also nothing but called chain rule. Now e power minus x. Now differentiation of x is nothing but what minus one. So minus x differentiation is how much minus one. So finally we have minus e power minus x, which is nothing but called y dash. Divide by dx is nothing but what y dash. So the given function e power minus x, whose derivative is nothing but e power minus e to e power minus x. This is the whole problem number one. Hope you understood that method. E power minus six. The derivation is e power minus six. But in place of x, what we have minus six we have. So that again we are going to differentiate in minus six. By differentiating minus six, we are getting minus one. So minus one means to e power minus six is the final. This is about problem number one. Now let us have problem number two. What is the problem given for us? Sine of log x. Sine of log x and x must be greater than zero. Because as per the definition of log of x, here x value always must be positive real numbers. As we have seen the domain and radius of logarithmic function. Domain of range of exponential function. What is the domain of logarithmic function? Positive real numbers means greater than zero. So x is nothing but greater than zero. 
So the previous problem we had an exponential function. Now we have this function logarithmic function we have. Now let us see how to solve this problem. Solution let y is equal to sine of log x sine of log x. Let us go for differentiation. dy by dx is equal to d by dx of sine of log x sine of log x. As we know that, as we know that, let us think about this log x. This is entire how it is made. It is in the form of sine x. It is in the form of what? Sine x. What is the differentiation of sine x? The derivative of sine x is the derivative of d by dx of what? sine x is nothing but what? cos x. So, the derivative of sine x we have cos x. That means, here we get the answer. Sine x is nothing but cos of log x. But, in place of x, what is the value we have? Log x we have. Means, again, a function in another function. A function in another function. Sin x here may be cos x that we have done. But in place of x, what is the value we have? Log x. So log x again we have to go for differentiation into d by dx of log x that is equal to cos of log x. Now derivative of log x is nothing but how much? 1 by x as we know that d by dx of log x is nothing but 1 by x. So finally what is our answer? Don't think that x, x can get cancelled. This is entirely a function and this is entirely a function. We cannot get x and x can cancel. So the final answer we have cos of log x by x. This is nothing but y dash. This is the derivative of sin of log x. This is the derivative of sin of log x. So, first sin x derivation is cos x. But in place of x, what we have? Log x we have. So, again we are finding the derivative of log x. Now, log x differentiation is nothing but 1 by x. So, finally what we have? Cos of log x by x. This is the final derivative of the given function. This is about example number 29, second problem. Let us come to problem number 3. What is the question is given? Cos inverse of e power x. Cos inverse of e power x. Now, when we observe here, we have two functions. One is inverse trigonometric function, another one is exponential function. Means, the combination of two functions. A function in another function. We have inverse trigonometric function and also exponential function. Then how to differentiate? Now let us see. Let y is equal to cos inverse of e power x. Now let us go for differentiation dy by dx is equal to d by dx of cos inverse e power x. Now in cos inverse we have inverse trigonometry function. What is cos inverse of x? d by dx of cos inverse of x. The differentiation is minus 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. That is the derivative of a cos inverse function. Inverse trigonometric function cos inverse of x. 1 minus 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. Now, let us continue this. Minus 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. In place of x, what we have here? e power x. So, 
e power x whole square e power x whole square now in place of x we have e power x so that again we need to differentiate e power x as i told you function in a function we need to go for chain rule now let us simplify minus 1 by square root of 1 minus e power 2x x into 2 these two can be multiplied so 2 into x 2x 1 minus e power 2x and derivative of exponential function is nothing but 1 e power x that is what is the final answer minus e power x by square root of 1 minus e power 2x this is nothing but derivative of cos inverse of e power x so we have inverse trigonometric function and also exponential function function in a function we are going to apply chain rule finally we have minus e power x by square root of 1 minus e power 2x coming for problem number 4 what is given e power cos x again here we have two types of functions one is exponential function another one is trigonometric function let us see how to solve this problem let y is equal to e power cos x when we go for derivative so dy by dx is equal to d by dx of e power cos x it is just in the form of e power x exponential function so derivative of exponential function is nothing but e power cos x but in place of x we have cos x so that we need to derive cos x also so what we have here e power cos x derivative of cos x is nothing but what minus sin so finally our answer is minus sin x into e power cos x so this is the derivation of the given function this is about example number 29 in example number 29 we have four different problems all those four different problems we have discussed now with the help of these example problems we can try to solve a few exercise problems also now let me discuss the first problem in exercise 5.4 what is the first problem was given e power x by sin x differentiate the following with respect to x what are the functions we have we have an exponential function and we have a trigonometric function these two we need to derive now let us see how to differentiate let y is equal to e power x by sin x when we observe the problem is in the form of u by v form it is in which form u by v as we know that u by v the differentiation of u by v d by dx of u by v what is the derivation v into u dash minus u into v dash by v square that is the differentiation for u by v d by dx of u by v means v into u dash minus u into v dash by v square now applying this u by v formula we can go for it that is dy by dx is equal to d by dx of e power x by sin x that is first denominator v square means sin x whole square sin x whole square now it is u and it is v v into u dash so v is nothing but sin x into d by dx of e power x minus e power x into d by dx of sin x this is about u by v form now let us continue this that is equal to sin x into 
Ecorex differentiation is nothing but Ecorex. Ecorex sin x differentiation is nothing but cos x by sin x whole square can be written as sin square x. Now when we observe here, here I have e power x and here also I have e power x. I can take comma. Now by taking e power x as comma, what I have, I can get sin x minus cos x by sin square x. This is about derivative of e power x by sin x. Here we are applying total three formulae. One is which one? We are applying u by v rule. Next one, derivation of e power x. Next, derivation of sin x. These are the three formulae we are applying here to solve this problem. This is the differentiation of the given function e power x into sin x minus cos x by sin square x. Let us come to problem number 4. The fourth problem is given that sin of tan inverse of e power minus x. Now total how many functions we have in this problem? We have total three functions. What are they? The first one, trigonometric function. The second one, inverse trigonometric function. Third one, exponential function. I have three kinds of function in this problem. Trigonometric function I have. Inverse trigonometric function I have and exponential function I have. Now how to differentiate? Here also we need to go for chain rule because a function in another function we have. So that definitely we need to go for chain rule. Now let us see how to solve a problem. Let y is equal to sin of tan inverse of e power minus x sin of tan inverse of e power minus x. Now, it is just like in the form of what sin x. Let us consider the center is as x. Sin x differentiation is what? Cos x. So, let us go for derivative. So, d by by dx is equal to d by dx of sin of tan inverse e power minus x that is equal to sin x differentiation is nothing but what cos x sin x derivative is nothing but what cos x so cos of tan inverse e power minus 6. So, sin x differentiation is nothing but cos x. But what actually in place of x what we have? We have tan inverse of e power minus. So, again we need to differentiate d by dx of tan inverse of e power minus x that is equal to cos into tan inverse of e power minus x. Now how it is there? It is in the form of tan inverse x. So, d by dx of sin x. d by dx of sin x. So, derivative of sin x is nothing but cos x. Next, d by dx of tan inverse of x. The formula is 1 by 1 plus x square. Tan inverse of x formula is what? 1 by 1 plus x square. Means here tan inverse of means 1 by 1 plus e power minus x whole square. Because in place of x what I have e power minus x. Again we should derive. Again we can go for differentiation of exponential function. So, step by step we are done. First, we have derived trigonometric function. Next, we are finding derivative of inverse trigonometric function. Next, we are finding derivative of exponential function. How many functions are there? 
all the functions we are finding the derivation step by step first derivative of trigonometric function next derivative of inverse trigonometric function next derivative of exponential function now let us see it that is equal to cos of tan inverse of p minus x 1 by 1 plus e power minus x now derivative of exponential function e power minus x is e power minus x and in place of this what we have minus x we have again we should derive minus x also then finally what we have cos of tan inverse e power minus x 1 by 1 plus e power minus 2x into e power minus x into minus 1 now the final answer what we can write is y dash is equal to minus e power minus x by 1 plus e power minus 2x into cos of tan inverse of e power minus x that is the derivative of the given function minus 1 into e power minus x minus e power minus x into 1 by 1 plus e power minus 2x into cos tan inverse of e power minus x this is about problem number 4 let us come for problem number 6 what is the problem number 6 is given e power x plus e power x square plus e power x cube plus e power x power 2 plus e power x power 5 we have to go for derivative of this entire function now let us see how to solve this problem let y is equal to e power x plus e power x square plus e power x cube plus e power x power 2 plus e power x power 5 now dy by dx is equal to d by dx of e power x plus e power x square plus e power x cube plus e power x power 2 plus e power x power 5 Now we can go for individual differentiation. That is nothing but we have d by dx of e power x plus d by dx of e power x square plus d by dx of e power x cube plus d by dx of e power x power two plus d by dx of e power x power Fine. Now let us calculate. It. Derivative of exponential function is nothing but what e power x. Now derivation of e power x square is nothing but e power x square. But in place of x, what we have? We have x square. Let us go for derivative of x square. So it is just like in the form of exponential e power x. E power x derivation is what e power x. But in place of x, what we have x square. Again, we should go for differentiation. So d by dx of x square plus again here also e power x cube d by dx of x cube e power x to the power four d by dx of x power four e power x to the power five d by dx of x to the power Fine. Now let us come for here. Now e power x plus e power x square. Now differentiation of x square is nothing but what two x. Next e power x cube. Differentiation of x cube is nothing but three x square. E power x to the power of four. Differentiation of x power four is nothing but four x cube. E power x to the power of five. Differentiation of x to the power of five is nothing but five into x to the power of two. So what is the formula we have applied here? We have a formula for d by dx of x power n. What is the formula for this? N into 
x to the power of n minus 1. This is the formula we applied here. By applying that formula, x square differentiation we got 2x, x cube differentiation we got 3 into x square, x power 4 differentiation we have 4 into x cube, x power 5 differentiation we have 5 into x to the power of 4. Now let us simplify what we have here e power x plus 2 into x into e power x square 3 into x square into e power x cube 4 into x cube into e to the power of x to the power of 4 5 into x to the power of 4 into e power x power 5 This is the final derivative of the given function This is our problem number 6 This is about what? Problem number 6 Here we have last problem from exercise number 5 point that is problem number 10 It is another different problem here In this also we have a trigonometric function logarithmic function and an exponential function We have three different functions Now how to differentiate As we know that the chain rule Function in a function whenever we have Definitely we need to go for chain rule Now let us apply the chain rule Solution Let y is equal to cos of log x plus e power x now let us go for differentiation dy by dx is equal to d by dx of cos of log x plus e power x when we observe here it is entire we have in the form of cos x let us assume it is entire as x now how it is there cos x what is the derivative of cos x minus sin x so you have minus sin into log x plus e power x but in place of x what we have log x plus e power x that also we should go for differentiation d by dx of log x plus e power x now that is equal to minus sin into log x plus e power x now derivative of log x is nothing but 1 by x derivative of exponential function is nothing but e power x so our final answer we can write here minus of 1 plus 1 by x plus e power x into sin of log x plus e power x this is the derivative of the given function cos of log x plus e power x this is about exercise number 5.4 problem in this what we have done we have done exponential functions, logarithmic functions, trigonometric functions, inverse trigonometric functions all kind of functions derivatives now based on this example number 29 and in these exercise problems let us finish the remaining problems in exercise number 5.4 in our next class we discuss about logarithmic functions what exactly logarithmic functions when the logarithmic functions we can apply how the concept is easy for applying the logarithmic functions and all that we discuss in our next class Hari thank you